and welcome to my cooking vlog, Fed Up. Uh, welcome. I've started this vlog because I want to help people that have been on the same journey as me in rediscovering food after having bariatric surgery. So if you're a person that's had a sleeve or a gastric bypass or an omega bypass and you're struggling with food ideas, this is the place you want to be. I love cooking with natural fresh ingredients so we're always going to be having lots of fresh food and uh, always looking at our portion control and taking into consideration some of the restrictions that you may have when you're making your own food. This is my beautiful daughter Asia Penelope. Hello. And I'm in Sydney this weekend because it was Asia's birthday this week and it's the last birthday she gets before these babies arrive. So yes, babies as in plural, there are two. We're getting a little boy and a little girl and we're super excited. Um, so I've spent the weekend here looking after my, my biggest baby um, of my five children and my grandbabies and her partner. And tonight I'm gonna make them a really nice dinner. So um, we're having, just so you know what we're cooking, we're gonna have a quinoa salad, lots of fresh ingredients in that. Um, I don't know if my sous chef is going to hang around for too long because I think her feet may be getting a little bit sore. Um, so if you want to go and put your feet up, darling, okay. I will see you when the food is ready. I'll come back to taste this. Okay, all right. So um, we're making quinoa salad. So in our quinoa salad, we've got mangoes, fresh mangoes. We've also got some avocado, fresh limes, fresh chili, as little or as much as you like for flavour. I've got some fresh feta, we've obviously got some quinoa, we've got some baby spinach. I know there's some haters out there that don't like coriander, but coriander is your friend. So we've got coriander. I normally put mint in this as well, fresh mint, but I didn't pick up any from the shop today. So um, mint is very nice with this. Some cucumber and um, I'll get that quinoa on the oven. We'll get that cooking. Um, and then we're going to cut up and sear off some chicken thighs. And we're also gonna make a chili basil butter, and that's delicious, which we're gonna serve with the chicken. I'm gonna get this quinoa on the oven. So just a tip with your quinoa, um, whatever you're using as your measuring cup, whether it's a cup, a bowl, whatever it may be, one part quinoa to two parts water, okay? And I get it up to the boil, I let it go for about eight minutes, go back and check it. It absorbs all the water. It doesn't double in size, like what rice does, but it definitely increases, it swells up and the, the little seed itself breaks open. Um, it's yummy, it's really good. Um, it's not too high in carbohydrate, so if you are watching some of those portion control things, this is a really good thing to have. So just putting our cucumber in the bowl. Moving on to our baby tomatoes. You can prep these however you like. You can either have them, you know, diced or you can have them just cut in half and quarters, whatever tickles your fancy. I normally do a combination of things because I think it kind of looks nice when it's a little bit pretty. All right, so our quinoa's um, got itself to the boiling point. So now we just turn that down to a really low simmer and we let that simmer for eight minutes. And do some chili so again chili as hot or as cold as you like it or hot or mild as you like it so um, I like chili so I'm probably gonna go Asia probably doesn't like chili as much as me so let's go half a chili I'm gonna leave the seeds in and the vein in and the veins actually where the heat comes from a lot of people think it's just from the seeds it's actually uh, I believe it to be from the vein inside the chili. So I like to cut it up really, really, really small because uh, you don't need to have a whole mouthful of chili in there. And the same thing, if you're not big on chili, leave the chili out. The humble avocado. So this is where we're gonna get some really nice fats in our diet. A lot of people, they seem to think that once you've had, um, you know, some kind of uh, change in diet, whether it's being what I've done and, and you know I had to have a drastic change to my lifestyle um, but some people think that it means that you have to cut out some of the really good fats. Now avocados are really good fat, it's a natural fat, it's a clean fat, 
and it burns cleanly in your body. It's also a um, plant-based fat. So all plant-based fats, plant-based foods, are really high in all your natural essential amino acids and they're really important for how your body's going to work especially after you're going to lack a few of those things if you've had a full bypass um, this is really important so don't don't leave it out thinking that you're gonna get fat if you eat it because it, you're not now the haters that don't like coriander leave it out um, I love coriander, I find it really refreshing, so if you don't like it, look away now. Now I've got feta to go into this salad, but I'm going to add that in last, purely because Asia can't have feta being pregnant. I'm going to um, grill her some halloumi, which she can have, it's hot cheese. So for the sake of the video, the recipe that I make actually calls for feta, so you can use whatever type of feta you like. I like to make things on a budget. I go to Aldi, Aldi's my friend. So as you know, I've got all of those ingredients in my bowl. We just mix them all through. And you can see in here, it's just a sea of color. I literally, if I didn't feel like quinoa, I would eat that by itself. Because it is just delicious. It's a beautiful salad just on its own. So you can see here we've got nice fluffy quinoa here. We're going to mix all those other ingredients into that because this bowl's a little small. I always leave my meat prep till last because I don't want to be um, having this cooking and having to run to and from the oven, risking for it to burn while I'm prepping other things. So I prep everything else first, then I do my meat last. So we've got our chicken, clean board, clean knife, I slice this baby up, I'm going to cook it and then I'll see you back over here for plating up. Asia and I were intending on having a share platter for dinner, so that's what we've done. Um, we've got a great little share plate here. Uh, we're just gonna put the chicken, you can do the chicken if you like. With tongs? Yeah, with some tongs out, just put the chicken on both sides. Anyway, anywhere you like, love. So guys, obviously for me, um, I've got portion control going on here and this is what I'm saying you don't have to have boring food you can have really nice food some on this side yep there's some beautiful quinoa in there Two. our quinoa salad looks so good three I'll put little ones on your side yep great and there goes it guys that's our Beautiful quinoa. We're missing one key ingredient. What? Garlic chili butter. Oh, yeah. Give me one second. I want this salad so bad. Here's the one we prepared earlier. Sorry, Asia. I'm just going to move that forward. Yes, please. So. I actually popped it in the freezer so that it would be ready for us. As you can see, it's a beautiful garlic, chili and basil butter. And um, all I cooked the chicken in was its own juices. Just unwrap that. Put a slice, however much you want. Yum. Done. I hope you really enjoyed that. Thanks, you can smell it. Mmm. Taste it. It's delicious. And guess what? I go home tomorrow and I can't take this on the plane. <laughs> it's staying here. It's staying here for you, <laughs> my darling. So guys, that's a recipe that I make quite a bit at home. Um, I really enjoy quinoa and I can, I, I think, uh, this is a recipe that I make at home. I really enjoy quinoa and I really like chicken too, but since having surgery, uh, I actually enjoy plant-based meals, so I could quite happily just sit there and eat um, some quinoa. And for me, my serving size, I'd probably get in half of that bowl. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. I hope you really enjoyed it. Well, a few... Let me taste it. 
Oh, do I? Yeah. Now I'm gonna taste it. A little bit of this, a bit of feta. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. I'm so jealous. Here's your bowl. Would you like to taste that in your bowl? This is your bowl. Mm-hmm. Give it a bit of a stir because it's got lime on top. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Is that enough? Mm-hmm. Get a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Mmm. <laughs> nice. Mmm, the coriander is very nice. You like coriander? It's just the perfect amount of lime too. It's like sweet and fresh. I don't know what it is. Sweet and something else. Waki? Yeah, well you put some chilli in there. Mmm. Hopefully that doesn't give you too much heart burn. Mmm. Nice? Very nice. And then as you can see this butter is just melting beautifully on that chicken. So what I tend to do is this. I just dunk it in and I use it like little dippers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for my first fed up. If you really enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to share, like, and comment. Share it with your friends and your family, and if there's anything that you'd like to see me cook, or ingredients that you love to cook with and you just get stuck and don't know how, make sure you comment below, and I will definitely take that into consideration moving forward. See you next time.